In the world of cloud computing, high availability and fault tolerance have been given a lot of importance. One of the major factors of moving workloads to cloud is because of inbuilt high availability and fault tolerant features which they provide. AWS is no less. In fact, AWS provides the highest level of availability and fault tolerance. Now, these two terms are used very often and in the exams also, you get these two terms a lot. You want to create a high availability system, you want to create a fault tolerant system, how do you do that, etc. Now, the thing is that what is the difference between high availability and fault tolerance? So both seem same. In a high available system, you would you would expect that your system is always available. Your application should never go down. Same is the case of fault tolerance. You know, if your system goes down, it should come up automatically. So what is the difference between the two? There's a very thin line between high availability and fault tolerance. Both of them provide the same functionality with a little bit of difference. Suppose you are running this application inside of this machine. High availability means that even if your server is down, your application should be available. So to achieve high availability, you'll have to run one more server with the same application with it. So if this server goes down, that server will take care of it. Something like this, your customers are always pointed to this environment. If this one goes down, the customers or end users would be pointed to, the, to this environment. So in the event of failure of this server, your application or your customers will be pointed to this machine, as I said. Now, to do this migration or to switch from this server to this server, that it might take some time. So you might have a very minor or little amount of downtime, maybe for a few seconds or maybe for a few milliseconds. So that's what high availability is. You have your application on multiple servers. So in the event of failure of one server, the other server will respond to your customer or end user request. The catch here is that it might take some time to do the failover. So your applications or your end users might face a little bit of downtime, not too much. Fault tolerance comes into picture where you do not need any downtime at all, not even for a couple of seconds. So a fault tolerant system is a system which is built to provide uptime all the time. So SLA would be 100%, there will not be any downtime. How that can be achieved? We have two servers with same application running, running in them. In case of fault tolerant system, what happens is your end users would be directed to both the servers or both the machines. So some users would be directed to this, some users would be directed to this machine in a round robin fashion or in a weighted fashion, etc. In the event of failure of this server, all users who are connected to this will be directed here. So basically your server is never down. Of course, load would increase on the server, but still your application or your system is not down. So that's what fault tolerance is. That's what the thin line I was talking about. So in high availability, you can afford a little bit of downtime, but in fault tolerance, there cannot be any downtime whatsoever.